Okay, hello everybody again. This is the third part of JRT, or actually, I would probably, I will probably call it how to JRT. So I promise I'm gonna deep dive, or deep, uh, deep, <laughs> yeah, dive deeper. And I'm gonna start with a few things I've noticed that people were interested about, and it's when I'm driving. Uh, probably people are interested by beeping when somebody gets close to me. So I'm gonna have to show you few features that are uh, they are not hidden, but people like, usually people wouldn't pay attention to it as I found out. The other thing I'm gonna do first before those deep diving are gonna be this general tab that still does some things. So general, the refresh rate. The refresh rate is the number of FPS this is going to be transmitted. Broadcast rate FPS, I just leave it on 0.1 because it seems like it's the fastest. Absolute line height, this is just again the design thing as the banner height and banner mode. You can just see if you want to use logo below or use the series logo. I'm gonna do the use the series logo because I think it's gonna replace JRT logo with the series logo or I'm not quite sure honestly what it does this is below and this is series logo I don't see any change I don't know whatever I'm gonna use it the way it was then we have transparency for CLR browser because uh, this even has a function to put it into the stream and if for example you all, you want that background let's see here you want that background of timing for transparent let's see what it's going to do I just have to switch over here and if you're gonna make it transparent it is going to look like this it looks weird because it has white background but if you actually have it on the background of a stream it would look quite differently so I'm gonna put it back and it looks normally so then we're gonna go back to the JRT config and we have several things here I'm just uh, gonna I'm not going to explain everything over here because it just does what it says but I'm gonna display a few things select select the driver mode sorry it's a thing that it's it is going to work okay I, I will, let me try to find tab that we you might understand it a little bit better okay I got it this is selected by the user that means that it's gonna show you from the top and you scroll down and it's gonna remain there but if I'm gonna go into the first one and we would have yeah you can see I'm trying to scroll down but it comes back on its own because it's trying to focus you in the middle so you have the same oh let's say the same amount of drivers ahead of you like behind you so it works kind of like on a relative kind of thing that it's gonna show you just what is around you it doesn't let you to control it on your own auto selected the car focused that's what I'm talking about or you can select by the user I believe it's pretty much uh, yeah it, it works the way that if you're gonna switch into the other guy he's gonna be selected so instead of me selected it will be for example Luis I have it on disabled so what else is quite uh, interesting here sorry I have to switch you okay so it will select driver mode Delta graphics for all yes f3 box mode it means that if you're gonna switch it to f3 box mode this is going to happen it's just gonna show you the guys around you like f3 box mode which is relative I don't use it nonsense So we have it disabled. Auto scroll animations is if you want animations. Display the fuel infos. All of that. It just you know 
doing those things. So, group of driver thing I think especially in the race it's quite interesting to pay attention to. But if you have selected and ticked group of drivers, it's gonna give you kind of groups selected with a color you choose. So you see all the guys in 1.3 seconds, which I said because of it's a slipstream at this time. So I can see the groups that are within the 1.3 seconds, which for me is like close fighting or a little bit more intense. Display GRT logo, I don't really need that, so I'm gonna put it off. Just, you know, because you can. Track map, ignore that, only if you want to work with the track map. Only if you want to work with the track map. Then we have some things, overlay windows, options, full screen button, and all that. Uh, it's, for example, quite handy when you're using it on tablet or phone, when you can allow full screen button and you will just push it and it will become full screen without some shortcut directly from the browser. So, dashboard. Not much to do here, but what I require here is refresh rate 30, so it's more real time. It, it doesn't skip frames, let's say. Okay, it's like, as more frames it's gonna do, it's gonna be probably more CPU uh, connected and it's gonna you know, load your CPU a little bit more. Shift light mode, automatic or manual, it, you will probably have to adjust those shift lights under the car. Celsius or Fahrenheit, pretty much up to you. Transparent for CLR, the same thing uh, if you wanna put it into the stream. And that's pretty much it. Broadcast FPS rate, you have, uh, you have some explanation down here, that uh, blue thing uh, above the apply. Set the refresh rate for the dashboard page in number or frame per second. Set the refresh rate, oh no, sorry, this one. Set the refresh rate for the dashboard page in the broadcast mode. You can enter floating number to have a low refresh rate. That's pretty much it. Uh, don't really know what to say more about this. So I think we probably understood what is it like to set those tabs and to understand what everything does and what it does. So now I'm gonna move into not advanced because this is basically for the dashboard. You can even create your own dashboard here. And this is all the things that are displayed there. It's position, all that. Never did anything with that, honestly. The same for the dashboard too. However, main options, and this is where some not really important magic, but quite handy magic happens. Let's see, buttons, mm, joystick, button, set button. Okay, you can even make your buttons on your wheel or button uh, button box to work with JRT and it's gonna make effect in the game. Check all tires, uncheck all tires. <sighs> I have three buttons on my wheel down here. You can't see, two. Check all tires, uncheck all tires, and refuel with fuel to add fuel value. This thing is quite handy because it saves you clicks or touching your mouse. If you push this button, magic will happen and by the command to the game, I will show you something. It's going to add fuel that will be written right here. Okay, so if here is written that I need 20 liters to finish my race, it's gonna automatically set in the fuel box 20 liters. If it's going to be 20.1, it's gonna set 22. It's just always going to make it like to the full numbers, but up. So, that's why I have one thing number of spare laps to add for the fuel calculations. If you put a 1.0, it's gonna add into the calculation fuel for 17 laps. Not 16 as it's estimated laps of a fuel in my tank, 
but it's gonna put there for 17 that's how simple it is then you can adjust it on the go but by one or two clicks up or down but you don't have to do like 20 clicks or to touch your mouse while you're on the go I didn't test automatically sorry I'm just gonna switch it so you can see it this is what I was talking about number of spare laps to add for the field calculations I didn't check automatically calculate time loss in the seconds in pits with the refuel or not on or uh, refuel nor tires change and then the beeping sound I call it parking sensor because it pretty much looks uh, works that way when somebody or you get uh, closer to somebody the intensity of beeping as it gets faster maybe even louder you're closer so faster beeping you're closer this is this play sound alert in a race when you need to pit oh sorry no <laughs> sorry 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 other options this is another thing I will get into it spotter with beep sounds you are gonna get still the spotter but you're gonna get those beep sounds parking sounds what I call it play wheel gun sounds when changing tires to make sure you're changing tires or to get the fact that you're changing tires but you don't want to I use play wheel gun sound when changing tires automatically uncheck fuel when there is enough fuel in the tank sometimes it happens that you pit again and the pay, uh, the default behavior of iRacing is to give you for example refueling 90 even if you don't want to this option automatically when you grit when you do whatever you will be refueling zero and the begin refueling will be unchecked important thing play sound alert in a race when you need to pit or if you didn't put the full tank at the start it's gonna give you the sound effect that you can hear in every single race I'm doing when I'm streaming or putting YouTube videos uh, to the YouTube it's gonna play alert when you have low fuel or when I grin and I don't have a fuel tank the problem is that if there is a limit you can start with for example 40% for 4A GTE for IMSA it's gonna play that sound anyway so even if you have full 45 liters it's gonna play it even if you have just 10 because you forgot to switch from qualifying setting setup but if you have a special event it's gonna tell you that you don't have 100 or 90 liters in uh, case of 4 a GTE at an event uh, you, this is probably uh, for telemetry display the track map you can display the track map uh, in your uh, you know how is it called tabs and toggle the timing into f3 box mode which is relative mock so you can see just few guys like four guys ahead four guys behind total nonsense and that's pretty much it uh, for this video you can even save lab times and fill info into CSV file that will be found uh, in the folder somewhere I believe yes not really sure what it's does but high value requires more CPU that's pretty much it okay guys this has been pr pretty much everything for GRT if you have any questions just hit me up in the comments below or write me private message or anything like that I will in case you have more questions I will do with on it especially like a fourth part but this was the final third part I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial it guided I hope it guided you quite well and the last thing when you have no wish to adjust anything it's only needed to run the console but you can actually do this with your GRT and it will still be functional that's it see you guys peace